my, my, my. How the days continue. There's my words of wisdom. Here we are doing diverse capitals. I immediately know where we are. Now, the problem is, am I completely sure this is Belarus? Because I'm going to confuse Belarus, because one of these countries over here, Belarus has a weird flag, and I don't, hmm. This is the problem with second-guessing yourself all the time, is I'm probably going to eat face here. I think this is actually Bulgaria, because if I remember right, Belarus has a flag that I'd compare to Central Asian country flags instead of this. I think I got, I'm going to be hilariously off if I end up having this be the wrong place. Uh, do I see Sofia or Bulgaria anywhere here? Nope. I think I got it. <laughs> yeah, BG. Okay. And that's, that's the problem with your brain sometimes is when you're thinking that you got something figured out and your first instinct was to go for the other B country. And the funny thing is I forgot what the other country was, even though we were just talking about it. It's early on a Sunday. I have very little sleep under my belt. It just happened. I don't know if anybody else has this problem either of sleeping in bed with uh, other animals. Um, going back to when I was a kid, I felt real uh, bad whenever I would fall asleep and I had a cat in my bed. We had a cat, a couple of cats when I was growing up, and um, they would do little tours where for a couple of weeks they would be in one bedroom, then they moved to the next, and so on and so forth. And whenever it came time for one of the cats to sleep in my bed, I got all excited. I'm like, ooh, I got the cat in my bed. That's great. Cat's cool. I like petting the cat. Pat's not, cat is nice. I'm like, great. Cat can sleep in my bed. We'll both sleep in the bed. It'll be like all those TV shows you see when kids fall asleep with pets in their beds. I was going to be like, I'm going to be like a kid on TV. Invariably, every time I woke up, cat was gone. And it just immediately made me think, oh my God, in my sleep, I must have flopped around and kicked the cat off the bed somehow. And now the cat's all mad, never wants to sleep in the bed. And then I would go off to uh, another um, room in the house, and I would just be like, damn it, I screwed up my one chance to have the cat in my bed. And that still carries to this day that um, there are now two little tiny dogs that sleep in the bed, but I still feel bad moving them. But also, Pair that with the fact that something magical happens at night whenever they sleep. They just turn basically into infinite wells of weight and gravity. And no matter how much moving I do, they, it's like physically impossible for them to move. I could like do the stance that you see any of those strongest men competitions when they're about to lift like a two-ton anvil over their head. I could like try to do that and lift these dogs. Um, it won't happen. So couple that with me not wanting to actually move them and nailed it. Me not wanting to move them, their inability to move, and also them loving to sleep against me leaves me with about a half inch of bed to sleep on and I need a drink pardon me and I'm just like like stuck there's I'm, I'm stuck in this position I have a tiny little bit of bed to sleep on and it's not very comfortable so long story short I am a very tired person 
Okay, I did not expect English on here. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what I don't know what this is yet. I'm thinking South America, but slowly leading now towards maybe Eastern Europe, especially no, that's that is not Cyrillic. Let's take a look at this dude. All right, what do we got? Paris RQ? Oh, Romania. Okay. Yeah, and then we've got nice, lovely photo here. Ah, those, I cannot wear those flip-flops. So we're going from one country to the neighbor in Bucharest. I feel like we're on the sector outside of the country. It's weird. Well, also, if I hit home here. Yeah, I mean, this kind of does also look... Wow, this is a very old cobblestone road. That quickly, they paved over. A lot of this also does... Feel, oh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to remember to unpause this time. I'm seeing the little volume bars move as I talk, so I've done the right thing, and now I don't have to re-record. Uh, how's your weekend? Your Monday's here. Mine is too. I've uh, successfully done my hike. I think it's probably the nicest mountain I've done so far. Like, one of the things I look forward to, um, probably not as much as I should compared to some other people, is the top of the mountain just being, like, completely barren and just open rock so I can just sit and take the view. But I thought about this yesterday when I was sitting on top that maybe I don't spend as much time on the top of the mountain as maybe I should. Give me one sec. Ah, oh, excuse me. Like, uh, we got anything good here? Maybe a couple of shirts. Nice. Um, like, how long are you supposed to stay on top of the mountain? I never really think of it. Like, I kind of like the whole idea of the hike itself. I get to the top, i like, oh, this is great. I don't think much is going to change from the first minute I see it to, like, the 20th minute. Only increasing my chances of maybe getting rained on up there or getting sunburn. I don't like sunburns. So, I think the most time I've spent on top of the mountain, maybe just sitting and relaxing. 15, 20 minutes? And that even seems long for me. I don't know. It's like the actual, like, action process of hiking is what I'm there for more than the view. The view is a nice little cap to it. But, again, that's not what I'm there for. All right. This place. Don't know... Let's go this way a bit, and then I'm going to probably turn around. Uh, oh, we do have multiple roads here. Okay. Still zero idea what country this is. Okay, no lettering on any of these yet. Oh, we got a bus. Is that bus still going to be there? It is. Okay, we've got some signage. This is good. This is a good start. It is in English. That doesn't help me, though. We've got, oh, something association. we got a head office for something. Um, oh boy. Multicolored tires. It's a donut and a flat. It looks like we got telephone poles just hanging out. Okay, I can't tell. Maybe the bus has something on it here. Palmer's Tours. Gaboron does not help me. Okay. Hmm. Oh, what do we got? You are free to buy. Well, they have English here. Someone went through the trouble of writing Coca Coca or Coca Cola, excuse me, on here. We got we've hit a dead end. Okay. I have zero idea where this is. And nothing on there. 
head back to the road. I'm gonna head down here. Hmm. This is gonna be a bit of a problem, I think. Hmm. Can I get through here? Yeah, I can. Okay. All right. We do have a road over here. I'm going to go to it. I guess I can't. Shit. All right. Now I got to find a way. To... Okay, we are on the road here. Let's go this way. I went the other way last time. I got a minute 40 and nothing is... Nothing is sticking out or coming to me here. Um, look at the climate. This isn't a desert. This may be savanna. Like, I almost thought this, well, no, I don't think this is South Africa. Hmm. Let's see what this, does this say stop on it, or is it a different language? No, it says stop. Well, the stop sign's on the wrong side of the road. Uh, vehicle. Where is your steering wheel? Because this maybe actually is Johannesburg. I gotta find a steering wheel. I've not, I didn't pay attention until now, and now I am concerned. There's a car. They're all facing the wrong way. This isn't good. All right. I'm going to look. Does this car have. It looks like steering wheel is on the opposite side therefore i'm going to say we're in pretoria that is the cat yeah pretoria is the capital i'm feeling feeling confident and immediately i will be okay we got cars up here yep steering wheel is on the british side all right see man it was a little helpful um you gotta Take in those, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh it's the capital of Botswana. Oh, it did actually say that on that. All right, well, fair enough. I zero thought that this was Botswana. I do not know the capital of Botswana. Now I do. Oh, God, this is... Okay, we've got George Price Center of Peace and Development. Shit, this is a, this is going to be a problem. Father of the nation. I'm going to get a very low score on this because I think this might be the Marshall Islands. Oh, God damn it. This is a Pacific Island. This is going to be a terrible score because I don't know if you know this. And if this turns out to be the first way you're going to learn about this, Marshall Islands are big. I mean, I mean, not Marshall Islands. The Pacific Ocean is huge. Like, maybe this is Fiji? Hmm. Where is Fiji? Is Fiji down here? Yes. Is Suva actually have this center in it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't know. I mean, this is a museum. George Price Center. None of these are coming up. Well, I guess that's one of the pluses, at least, of just look at the capital and look for this center. Okay. Now let's go to the Marshall Islands. Zoom the fuck out. I got two minutes. What is the capital of the Marshall Islands? Is it Bariki? Hmm. No. Nothing here looks like that. Okay, let's, uh, where do we got to go next? It was over here, wasn't it? Nauru. Nothing here helps. Okay, zoom back out. 
I said Marshall Islands, right? Let's look at Micronesia. Do we not have a capital here? Non Madal, I believe, is. However, hmm. Guam? Maybe it's Guam. Is Didido or Yigo? Which one of these is the. Um, I'm just going to put here for now. If I can't find Mariana Islands, I don't know what the. Isn't it San Jose is the capital? Hmm. We actually have. Doesn't help me. I feel like this is a U.S. terror. What's Midway? Wake Island. Yeah, it's just a refuge. I'm. This is gonna be a bad score. Like I think it might be Midway. Could be the other thing, but there's like no, There's nothing on Midway. I think a Federated Micronesia. It might be that. Didn't I look at this already? Yes, I did. Well, we're going to see how bad my score is. I have a feeling it's already going to be terrible. Here we go. <laughs> well. Call me an idiot. Well deserved. All right. I had zero idea. There was nothing there. Made me think it was a tiny, tiny island of the Pacific, and here we are. Oh uh, well, that's the that's what's gonna happen. Just be okay with it. I have to be. Is this South America? I don't remember seeing many Chevys. In Europe, man, I'm going to get fucking get down the road here farther. How hot is it here? Y'all wearing hoodies and shit. Okay. Looking around. Nothing is standing out. Okay, yeah. Maybe this is Peru. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get back here. Um, hmm. What do we got? Why is, like, like the, the main road I can't go on, but I go to these friggin' side roads? Dot .co is Columbia? It's dot .com dot .co. Hmm. I didn't picture this for Columbia. Okay. Nothing here. Well, let's see what this sign says. Well, my dot co from Bogota, I guess. We'll uh, put ourselves there now. No, I thought, no, Medellin is a large city. Bogota is the capital of Colombia. All right, let's jump into another side street because weird reasons. Oh, God, it does this. Just let me see this info. What is this? College something. Like, that's the, that's that rock formation thing that is on the ground that you can see from way high. The Incas, I believe, did that, didn't they? I forget what it's called. Bende means sail. <laughs> that's all I got. Um, let's keep moving. Maybe I can... Is there a URL in the back of this truck? Nope. Um, anything in the front? 
JAC, nothing. Okay. Hmm. Um. Perfect shoes, huh? Okay, that doesn't help me. These, like, municipality vehicles or something? They all have that little... Oh, 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 this may help. What about a mayor? That does not help. Manhole cover? Usually it says... Nope, can't make that out. Sometimes you can read manhole covers. It'll say that at least the town you're in. This one does not look to be the case. Uh, I think I got the country right. If not, I'm close. Okay, I got the country right. Well, other than getting... <laughs> that awful one. Uh, it went all right, I guess. Uh, three out of the... Three out of the five, I at least got the country right. You can forgive me for the other two. One at least. I'll let you figure out which one I mean. But anyway, that's your Monday. That's my Monday too. If you want to, leave a comment, question, suggestion, concern, whatever you want. I'll read it and get back to you on it. But for all of us here, I'm going to go try to wake up at some point today, and I hope you guys will too. Have a good one, folks. We'll see you Wednesday.